What's up, everyone? Happy Friday. We are still here in Texas. The sun is just rising. And uh, we got the small business surgeon shirt on. All the black shirts were dirty, so we're wearing a red one today. And those of you in Apex get that joke. Uh, see, here in Apex, uh, everyone wears black shirts and just kind of like the unofficial uniform. But uh, so Sam is having some fun with it. Um, his company colors are red and black, so we got to have some fun with it. But uh, hung out with Sammy last night, had some cigars, um, did some dinner at Ida Claire, uh, did some fire pit chat over at the courtyard, and um, just spent some time talking about life, talking about business and the world and all that good stuff. Um, heard some amazing stories of uh, people overcoming crazy obstacles, coming from complete poverty and absolutely killing it in life. Um, someone having a heart attack, literally dying on the table, coming back to life and killing it in life, um, getting second chances. Um, there's so much, um, so much stuff that's happened to people um, between medical issues, between uh, social issues, economic issues, and they come back and they triumph. It's really, uh, really, really wild to hear about. So one of the things that stuck out and happened to be uh, Ryan's podcast this morning was um, Chris Whitehead was talking about something he said. It's kind of made really click. Um, if you're growing a, a plant, if you're growing a vegetable plant, uh, something of that nature, a fruit plant, you wouldn't eat the plant until the fruit comes out. Uh, I'm basically saying that if you're uh, going through a struggle, or you're building a business, or you're um, all doing 75 hard, uh, whatever it is that you're doing in life, don't stop too soon. Don't quit too early. Don't don't eat the plant. Don't celebrate. Uh, if you are getting a small win, but maybe you're not at the finish line yet, uh, wait until the fruit is ready to harvest. Wait until the plant produces fruit before you uh, eat the plant or get rid of the plant. A uh, couple of areas of that. Like I said, celebrating too early. You know, we've all seen the guy that uh, possibly uh, – on the football field, gets the ball, thinks he's in the end zone, starts slowing down, starts getting lazy, and tackled like on the one-yard line because they, they gave up too soon. They started celebrating too early. Um, so you got that part of it. You got the idea of uh, you working, 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 um, and you're not getting there, so you give up. And that actually brings into Ryan's message this morning about patience. Patience isn't sitting there and waiting for stuff to happen. Patience is – being patient in the process and doing the work to get to where you need to be and being patient doing the work to get to your goals. Patience isn't sitting around being lazy on a couch waiting for stuff to happen. Patience is doing the work and continuing to believe in the process and trust in the process until um, whatever it is in your, half, in your life uh, happens. Um, a lot of people think patience means just, I'll oh, be patient, sit around and wait. Well, no, that's not sitting around and wait. That's Trust in the process, do the work, and be patient while you're doing the work. You see the results. Let the plant grow before you harvest it. Don't quit too soon. Don't celebrate too early. Um, just keep doing the work, as they say. FYE, do the work. So uh, there's a message of the day. It's, uh, I think it's about 48 degrees here in Texas. Uh, one more morning here before we go back to freezing. And uh, we're going to enjoy every minute of it, honestly. Um, hotel bike ride again today and um we get the mileage in 10 miles a day the day 228 this is uh, a fun journey and uh keep me keep me in check all right everyone let's jump on prayers the father son holy spirit amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to trust in the process. Help us to know, uh, to have the patience to know that we are moving in the right direction and to keep doing the work and to keep following through and to not give up. Uh, help us not to celebrate victories too early and help us not to give up on our dreams. 
Uh, we thank you for everything you put in our lives, beautiful sunrises, warm weather in Texas, and all the people you surround us with. Amen. So we're over here, and I just looked up, and look at that. Texas edition. <laughs> I got to get that from my truck. That's cool. Um, anyway, so hope everyone's been having a good week. Hope everyone's been productive. Um, and just uh, have patience. And it's an impatience we're talking about. Just trust in the process, but do the work to get to where you need to be. Uh, be patient in the process, but patient. don't be patient sitting on the couch waiting for things to happen. Go make some stuff happen in your life. And make a change for the better, everyone. So shout out to all my New Yorkers up there, Dennis, Judy, Mike. Uh, it's like, you know, 48 degrees and sunny. Definitely a lot better than up in New York. But um, all right, everyone, have a great day. Appreciate you all. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.